Today I'm going to tell you about the preparation of dibenzyl acetone. This video is a continuation of the video on aldol condensation reactions in which we discussed the general reaction and its mechanism. The preparation of dibenzyl acetone is actually an example of the same reaction. So in this video lecture we will see how we can prepare dibenzyl acetone we'll discuss the chemical equation the reagents involved and of course the mechanism of the reaction so let's begin so dibenzyl acetone can be prepared by the reaction of benzaldehyde with acetone in the presence of sodium hydroxide which acts as a base to give tibenzyl acetone. In fact, two moles of benzaldehyde react with one mole of acetone to give one mole of benzaldehyde with the liberation of water. Dibenzyl acetone is in short known as DPA. So this is a balanced chemical equation for this reaction and the mechanism follows aldol condensation mechanism. So let's see uh, what the mechanism for this reaction looks like. So if you remember we discussed in case of aldol reaction or aldol condensation that it happens in the presence of a base which abstracts an acidic proton usually uh, hydrogen that is alpha to a carbon to a carbonyl group and it goes through the formation of an enolate and then of course it condenses with another carbonyl group that is present in the mixture here if you see we have two different uh, carbonyl functional groups we have an aldehyde in the shape of benzaldehyde and we have a ketone in the shape of acetone and if you analyze both of these carbonyl groups one of them is enolizable that is acetone and the other is non-enolizable that is benzaldehyde enolizable carbonyl or ketone means that it is a carbonyl group that contains hydrogen attached to alpha carbon which can be abstracted by this base to form an enolate while if you look at this a benzaldehyde it does not have any hydrogen attached to this um, alpha carbon so it is a non-enolizable carbonyl group in here in this reaction so what will happen uh, when we react these two with the base is that the enolizable carbonyl that is the acetone in this case will react with sodium hydroxide and this base will abstract the alpha hydrogen forming an enolate This enolate ion, of course, is unstable and it will quickly collapse back and react from its carbon with another carbonyl group that is present in the mixture. Now, in the mixture, we might have some acetone left unenolized at this stage, and we also have, of course, benzaldehyde, which by default is non enolizable, so it will be present in its. Uh, original form so this enolate has two options either to react with this acetone which is not yet enolized uh, and go for a self condensation product or it react with it reacts with this benzaldehyde which of course is non enolizable and it is present still in its carbonyl form where will this enolate go now here comes the reactivity or the electrophilic nature of these two carbonyl groups and if you remember the reactivity order from your organic chemistry course you will 
recall that aldehydes are more electrophilic than the carbonyl groups of ketones, which makes this aldehyde of the benzaldehyde more reactive towards this enolate. So the enolate here acts as a nucleophile and the carbonyl carbon of benzaldehyde will act as the electrophile. In fact, we have two electrophiles, the carbonyl of the acetone and the carbonyl of the benzaldehyde. But as I said earlier, that benzaldehyde or aldehyde is in general are more electrophilic than ketones. So this enolate will preferably attack the carbonyl group of a benzaldehyde. So it will collapse back and from the carbon, from the alpha carbon, it will attack benzaldehyde. So what we will have as a result is this oxyanion, which is attached to this carbon here. And the carbon here is restored. And so we have this. Now, as you know that we have a water in the system that was released at this stage. Here at this stage, you saw that a water molecule was formed and this oxyanion will take a hydrogen from the water molecule to form an alcohol. So we will have uh, the formation of this aldol product, which after dehydration will give this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl. Now, if you look at this product, it again has an alpha carbon with hydrogens attached on this side, on the right hand side of the ketone you can see here and in the system we have still hydroxyl groups released uh, from this uh, step here so that will again react with the alpha carbon or the hydrogens attached to the alpha carbon or the alpha hydrogens so it will form another enolate here like this and this enolate will again react with another benzaldehyde because we have used acetone and benzaldehyde in one to ratio so we have more molecules of benzaldehyde uh, again we will have the formation of this oxyanion here like this which will be converted into an alcohol first just like the previous step and then after dehydration it will be converted into the final product that is the dibenzyl acetone or DBA so you just saw that uh, it's an example of aldol condensation reaction and because we are using acetone which has uh, alpha hydrogens on both sides of the carbon so and also we are using benzaldehyde in double molar ratio so we're using them in two one ratio so the benzaldehyde molecule will react from both sides or you can say that enol enolates can be formed on both sides of the ketone or the acetone and that will produce the final product that is dibenzyl acetone. So stay tuned for more video lectures on named reactions. Till then, thank you so much. See you later.